The Romani, also spelled Romani, colloquially known as Gypsies or Roma, are an Indo-Aryan ethnic group, traditionally itinerant, living mostly in Europe and the Americas and originating from the northern Indian subcontinent, from the Rajasthan, Haryana, and Punjab regions of modern-day India. Genetic findings appear to confirm that the Romani came from a single group that left northwestern India about 1500 years ago. Genetic research published in the European Journal of Human Genetics revealed that over 70% of males belong to a single lineage that appears unique to the Roma. They are a dispersed people, but their most concentrated populations are located in Europe, especially Central, Eastern and Southern Europe, including Turkey, Spain and Southern France. The Romani originated in northern India and arrived in Midwest Asia and Europe around 1,000 years ago. They have been associated with another Indo-Aryan group, the Dom people. The two groups have been said to have separated from each other or, at least, to share a similar history. Specifically, the ancestors of both the Romani and the Dom left North India sometime between the 6th and 11th century. The Romani are widely known among English speaking people by the exonym Gypsies, or Gypsies, which some people consider pejorative due to its connotations of illegality and irregularity. Beginning in 1888 the Gypsy Law Society started to publish a journal that was meant to dispel rumors about their lifestyle. Since the 19th century, some Romani have also migrated to the Americas. There are an estimated 1 million Roma in the United States, and 800,000 in Brazil, most of whose ancestors emigrated in the 19th century from Eastern Europe. Brazil also includes a notable Romani community descended from people deported by the Portuguese Empire during the Portuguese Inquisition. In migration since the late 19th century, Romani have also moved to other countries in South America and to Canada. In February 2016, during the International Roma Conference, the Indian Minister of External Affairs stated that the people of the Roma community were children of India. The conference ended with a recommendation to the Government of India to recognize the Roma community spread across 30 countries as a part of the Indian diaspora. The Romani language is divided into several dialects, which together have an estimated number of speakers of more than 2 million. The total number of Romani people is at least twice as high, several times as high according to high estimates. Many Romani are native speakers of the dominant language in their country of residence or of mixed languages combining the dominant language with a dialect of Romani, those varieties are sometimes called para-Romani. Names Exonyms. <laughs> 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 French Bohème, Bohemian, from the Kingdom of Bohemia, where they were incorrectly believed to have come from, carrying writs of protection from King Sigismund of Bohemia. French Gitan, English Gypsy, Spanish Gitano, Catalan Gitano, Italian Gitano, Turkish Kipti, all from Greek Aegyptios Aegyptios Egyptian. Corrupted form, Gyftos Giftos, and Hungarian Fair One Pay from Greek Pharo Pharo. Pharaoh, referring to their allegedly Egyptian provenance. Usage of gypsy and similarly derived words differs between groups as some Roma groups use this word as a self identifier while others consider this word a racial slur. English Zagain for Hungarian Gypsies, Spanish Zingaro, Singaro, French Zagain, Old High German Ziguna, German Ziguna, Dutch Ziguna, Danish Sigina, Swedish Ziganer, Norwegian Sigoiner, Old Church Slavic Asignan Atsiganin, Italian Zingaro, Romanian Tegan, Hungarian Sigani, Serbo Croatian Sigan, Siganin, Albanian Sigan, Polish Sigan, Czech Chican, Portuguese Sigano, Turkish 
Sigan, Azerbaijani Sikhan, Slovak Sigan or Sigan, Venetian Singano, Russian Sigan Sigan, Ukrainian Sigani Sihani, Bulgarian Sigani Sigani, Lithuanian Chigani, Latvian Sigani, Georgian Sigani, from Greek Athinganos Athinganos corrupted form, Singanos Singanos, untouchable, due to the negative connotations of referring to an ethnic group as untouchable. Words derived from this source are usually considered derogatory and outdated by modern Roma peoples. Albanian Jev referring to Roma that speak Albanian, Evgit from the plural form of Jev, Jevgit, Gabel referring to nomadic groups, they predominantly speak Romani, Magjup commonly used in Korka, Roma of Egyptian origin, Azerbaijani Narachi derives from the Azeri word kara, black, and the suffix chi denoting the stem words function, occupation. Arabic Nawar and Zot. Egyptian Arabic Gaga. Topic <inaudible> Endonyms. Rom means man or husband in the Romani language. It has the variants dom and lom, related with the Sanskrit words dam pati, lord of the house, husband, dharma, to subdue, lom, hair, lamaka, hairy, loman, roman, hairy, ramaka, man with beard and long hair. Another possible origin is from Sanskrit doma doma, member of a low caste of traveling musicians and dancers. Topic. Romani usage In the Romani language, Rom is a masculine noun, meaning man of the Roma ethnic group or man, husband, with the plural Roma. The feminine of Rom in the Romani language is Romni. However, in most cases, in other languages Rom is now used for people of both genders. Romani is the feminine adjective, while Romano is the masculine adjective. Some Romanis use Rom or Roma as an ethnic name, while others such as the Sinti, or the Romanichal do not use this term as a self-ascription for the entire ethnic group. Sometimes, Rom and Romani are spelled with a double R, i.e., RROM and R Romani. In this case RR is used to represent the phoneme, also written as R and RH, which in some Romani dialects has remained different from the one written with a single R. The RR spelling is common in certain institutions such as the INALCO Institute in Paris, or used in certain countries, e.g., Romania, to distinguish from the endonym, homonym for Romanians sg, Roman, place. Romani <laughs> English usage In the English language, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, Rom is a noun with the plural Roma or Roms and an adjective, while Romani, Romani is also a noun with the plural Romani, the Romani, Romanis or Romanis and an adjective. Both Rom and Romani have been in use in English since the 19th century as an alternative for Gypsy. Romani was initially spelled Romani, then Romani, while today the Romani spelling is the most popular spelling. Occasionally, the double R spelling e R -R -A, R Romani mentioned above is also encountered in English texts. The term Roma is increasingly encountered, as a generic term for the Romani people, because all Romanis use the word Romani as an adjective, the term became a noun for the entire ethnic group. Today, the term Romani is used by some organizations, including the United Nations and the U.S. Library of Congress. However, the Council of Europe and other organizations consider that Roma is the correct term referring to all related groups, regardless of their country of origin, and recommend that Romani be restricted to the language and culture, Romani language, Romani culture. The standard assumption is that the demonyms of the Romani people, Lom and Dom, share the same origin. Other designations 
The English term gypsy, or gypsy, originates from the Middle English Gyptian, short for Egyptian. The Spanish term gitano and French gitan have similar etymologies. They are ultimately derived from the Greek agyptoi, meaning Egyptian, via Latin. This designation owes its existence to the belief, common in the Middle Ages, that the Romani, or some related group such as the Middle Eastern Dom people, were itinerant Egyptians. According to one narrative they were exiled from Egypt as punishment for allegedly harboring the infant Jesus. As described in Victor Hugo's novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the medieval French referred to the Romanis as Egyptians. The word gypsy is in such common usage in English that indeed many Romani organizations use it in their own organizational names. This exonym is sometimes written with capital letter, to show that it designates an ethnic group. However, the word is sometimes considered derogatory because of its negative and stereotypical associations. The Council of Europe consider that gypsy, or equivalent terms, as well as administrative terms such as gens du voyage referring in fact to an ethnic group but not acknowledging ethnic identification are not in line with European recommendations. In North America, the word gypsy is most commonly used as a reference to Romani ethnicity, though lifestyle and fashion are at times also referenced by using this word. Another common designation of the Romani people is Singane Alt. Singanoi, Ziga, Ziguna, which likely derives from Athinganoi, the name of a Christian sect with whom the Romani, or some related group, became associated in the Middle Ages. Topic. Population and subgroups Topic. Romani population For a variety of reasons, many Romanis choose not to register their ethnic identity in official censuses. There are an estimated 3.8 million Romani people in Europe as of 2002, although some high estimates by Romani organizations give numbers as high as 14 million. Significant Romani populations are found in the Balkans, in some Central European states, in Spain, France, Russia and Ukraine. Several million more Romanis may live outside Europe, in particular in the Middle East and in the Americas. <inaudible> Romani subgroups Like the Roma in general, many different ethnonyms are given to subgroups of Roma. Sometimes a subgroup uses more than one endonym, is commonly known by an exonym or erroneously by the endonym of another subgroup. The only name approaching an all-encompassing self-description is Rom. Even when subgroups don't use the name, they all acknowledge a common origin and a dichotomy between themselves and Gajo non -Roma. For instance, while the main group of Roma in German-speaking countries refer to themselves as Sinti, their name for their original language is Romanes. Subgroups have been described as, in part, a result of the Hindu caste system, which the founding population of Rom almost certainly experienced in their South Asian Urheimat. Many groups use names apparently derived from the Romani word kalo or kalo, meaning black, or absorbing all light. This closely resembles words for black or dark in Indo Aryan languages, e.g., Sanskrit kala kala, black, of a dark color. Likewise the name of the Dom or Domba people of North India, to whom the Roma have genetic, cultural and linguistic links, has come to imply «dark-skinned» in some Indian languages. Hence names such as Kale and Kale may have originated as an exonym or a euphemism for Roma. Other endonyms for Romani include, for example, Ashkali or «Balkan Egyptians». 
Albanian-speaking Roma communities in the Balkans Bashald Hungarian Slovak Roma diaspora in the US from the late 19th century Kale is the endonym used by both the Spanish Roma Gitanos and Portuguese Roma Ciganos. Calo is the language spoken by the Kale. Erlides also Alia, Yerlii or Ali in Greece. Kale in Finland and Sweden. Kale, Kala or Valshanange, Welsh English endonym used by some Roma clans in Wales. Romanichal also live in Wales, Romani in Spain are also attributed to the Kale. Korakani, Horahain or Zoraxai, also known as Turkish Roma or Muslim Roma, Greek Roma and Turkish Roma. Laleri, from Austria, Germany, and the Western Czech Republic, including the former Sudetenland. Lovery, from Hungary, known in Serbia as Makvaya, Makavaya, Makwaya, or Makwaya. Lyuli, in Central Asian countries. Rom in Italy. Roma in Romania, commonly known by majority ethnic Romanians as Tigani, including many subgroups defined by occupation. Boyash, also known as Bezi, Lingarari, Luda, Ludari, or Rudari, who coalesced in the Apuseni Mountains of Transylvania. Bezi is a Romanian word for miners. Lingarari means spoon makers. Luda, Ludari, and Rudari may mean woodworkers or miners. There is a semantic overlap due to the homophony or merging of lemmas with different meanings from at least two different languages, the Serbian ruda minor, and ruda stick, staff, rod, bar, pole in Hungarian rud, and in Romanian ruda. Churari, from Romanian siurari, sieve makers, zelatari, goldsmiths. Ursari bear trainers from Moldovan Romanian URS bear Ungariza blacksmiths and bladesmiths Argentari silversmiths Orari goldsmiths Florari flower sellers Lautari singers Caldarash from Romanian caldara, lit bucket maker, meaning kettle maker, tinsmith, tinker, also in Moldova and Ukraine. Roma or Romuve, Czech Republic. Roma or Romska, Slovakia. Romanichal in the United Kingdom, emigrated also to the United States, Canada and Australia. Romanizeal in Norway and Sweden. Roms or Manouche from Manouche people in Romani in France Romungro or Carpathian Romani from eastern Hungary and neighboring parts of the Carpathians Sinti or Zinti predominantly in Germany and northern Italy Sinti do not refer to themselves as Roma although their language is called Romanes topic Diaspora The Roma people have a number of distinct populations, the largest being the Roma and the Iberian Kale or Kalo, who reached Anatolia and the Balkans about the early 12th century, from a migration out of northwestern India beginning about 600 years earlier. They settled in present-day Turkey, Greece, Serbia, Romania, Moldova, Bulgaria, North Macedonia, Hungary and Slovakia, by order of volume, and Spain. From the Balkans, they migrated throughout Europe and, in the 19th and later centuries, to the Americas. The Romani population in the United States is estimated at more than one million. Brazil has the second largest Romani population in the Americas, estimated at approximately 800,000 by the 2011 census. The Romani people are mainly called by non-Romani ethnic Brazilians as Ciganos. Most of them belong to the ethnic subgroup Kales of the Iberian Peninsula. 
Juscelino Kubitschek, Brazilian president during 1956–1961 term, was 50% Czech Romani by his mother's bloodline, and Washington Lewis, last president of the First Brazilian Republic 1926–1930 term, had Portuguese kale ancestry. There is no official or reliable count of the Romani populations worldwide. Many Romani refuse to register their ethnic identity in official censuses for fear of discrimination. Others are descendants of intermarriage with local populations and no longer identify only as Romani, or not at all. As of the early 2000s, an estimated 3.8 to 9 million Romani people lived in Europe and Asia Minor, although some Romani organizations estimate numbers as high as 14 million. Significant Romani populations are found in the Balkan Peninsula, in some Central European states, in Spain, France, Russia, and Ukraine. The total number of Romani living outside Europe are primarily in the Middle East and North Africa and in the Americas, and are estimated in total at more than 2 million. Some countries do not collect data by ethnicity. The Romani people identify as distinct ethnicities based in part on territorial, cultural and dialectal differences, and self-designation. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin Findings suggest an Indian origin for Roma. Because Romani groups did not keep chronicles of their history or have oral accounts of it, most hypotheses about the Romani's migration early history are based on linguistic theory. There is also no known record of a migration from India to Europe from medieval times that can be connected indisputably to Roma. Sharnama <laughs> legend According to a legend reported in the Persian epic poem, the Shahnama, from Iran and repeated by several modern authors, the Sasanian king Bahram V Gaul learned towards the end of his reign 421 that the poor could not afford to enjoy music, and he asked the king of India to send him 10,000 luris, lute-playing experts. When the Luris arrived, Bahram gave each one an ox, a donkey, and a donkey load of wheat so that they could live on agriculture and play music for free for the poor. But the Luris ate the oxen and the wheat and came back a year later with their cheeks hollowed with hunger. The king, angered with their having wasted what he had given them, ordered them to pack up their bags and go wandering around the world on their donkeys. Topic. Linguistic evidence The linguistic evidence has indisputably shown that the roots of the Romani language lie in India. The language has grammatical characteristics of Indian languages and shares with them a large part of the basic lexicon, for example, regarding body parts or daily routines. More exactly, Romani shares the basic lexicon with Hindi and Punjabi. It shares many phonetic features with Marwari, while its grammar is closest to Bengali. Romani and Domari share some similarities: agglutination of postpositions of the second layer or case marking clitics to the nominal stem, concord markers for the past tense, the neutralization of gender marking in the plural, and the use of the oblique case as an accusative. This has prompted much discussion about the relationships between these two languages. Domari was once thought to be a sister language of Romani, the two languages having split after the departure from the Indian subcontinent, but later research suggests that the differences between them are significant enough to treat them as two separate languages within the central zone Hindustani group of languages. The Dom and the Rom therefore likely descend from two different migration waves out of India, separated by several centuries. In phonology, Romani language shares a number of isoglosses with the central branch of Indo Aryan languages, especially in the realization of some sounds of the Old Indo Aryan. 
however, it also preserves a number of dental clusters. In regards to verb morphology, Romani follows exactly the same pattern of northwestern languages such as Kashmiri and Sheena through the adoption of oblique enclitic pronouns as person markers, lending credence to the theory of their central Indian origin and a subsequent migration to northwestern India. Though the retention of dental clusters suggests a break from central languages during the transition from Old to Middle Indo-Aryan, the overall morphology suggests that the language participated in some of the significant developments leading toward the emergence of new Indo-Aryan languages, numerals in the Romani, Domari and Lomavran languages, with Hindi and Persian forms for comparison. Note that Romani 7–9 are borrowed from Greek. Topic. Genetic evidence Genetic findings in 2012 suggest the Romani originated in northwestern India and migrated as a group. According to the study, the ancestors of present scheduled castes and scheduled tribes populations of northern India, traditionally referred to collectively as the Doma, are the likely ancestral populations of modern European Roma. In December 2012, additional findings appeared to confirm the Roma came from a single group that left northwestern India about 1,500 years ago. They reached the Balkans about 900 years ago and then spread throughout Europe. The team also found the Roma to display genetic isolation, as well as differential gene flow in time and space with non-Romani Europeans." Genetic research published in European Journal of Human Genetics, "...has revealed that over 70% of males belong to a single lineage that appears unique to the Roma." Genetic evidence supports the medieval migration from India. The Romani have been described as a conglomerate of genetically isolated founder populations. While a number of common Mendelian disorders among Romanis from all over Europe indicates a common origin and founder effect, a study from 2001 by Gresham et al. suggests a limited number of related founders, compatible with a small group of migrants splitting from a distinct caste or tribal group. The same study found that, "...a single lineage found across Romani populations, accounts for almost one-third of Romani males." A 2004 study by Mora et al. concluded that the Romani population, "...was founded approximately 32 to 40 generations ago, with secondary and tertiary founder events occurring approximately 16 to 25 generations ago." Haplogroup HM82 is a major lineage cluster in the Balkan Romani group, accounting for approximately 60% of the total. Haplogroup H is uncommon in Europe but present in the Indian subcontinent and Sri Lanka. A study of 444 people representing three different ethnic groups in North Macedonia found mtDNA haplogroups M5A1 and H7A1A were dominant in Romanis 13.7% and 10.3%, respectively. Y-DNA composition of Romani in North Macedonia, based on 57 samples Haplogroup H59.6% Haplogroup E 29.8% Haplogroup I 5.3% Haplogroup R 3%, of which the half are R1b and many are R1a Haplogroup G 1.8% Y-DNA haplogroup H1a occurs in Romani at frequencies 7 to 70%. Unlike ethnic Hungarians, among Hungarian and Slovakian Romani subpopulations, haplogroup EM78 and I1 usually occur above 10% and sometimes over 
While among Slovakian and Tisavasvari Romani the dominant haplogroup is H1A, among Tokaj Romani is haplogroup J2A 23%, while among Taktaharkani Romani is haplogroup I2A 21%. 5. Rather consistent founder lineages throughout the subpopulations were found among Romani, JM67 and JM92, J2, HM52, H1A1, and IP259. Haplogroup IP259 as H is not found at frequencies of over 3% among host populations, while haplogroup C and I are absent in South Asia. The lineages EV13, IP37 and RM17 may represent gene flow from the host populations. Bulgarian, Romanian and Greek Romani are dominated by haplogroup HM82 while among Spanish Romani J2 is prevalent. In Serbia among Kosovo and Belgrade Romani haplogroup H prevails, while among Vojvodina Romani, H drops to 7% and EV13 rises to a prevailing level. Among non-Roma Europeans haplogroup H is extremely rare, peaking at 7% among Albanians from Tirana and 11% among Bulgarian Turks. It occurs at 5% among Hungarians, although the carriers might be of Romani origin. Among non-Roma speaking Europeans at 2% among Slovaks, 2% among Croats, 1% among Macedonians from Skopje, 3% among Macedonian Albanians, 1% among Serbs from Belgrade, 3% among Bulgarians from Sofia, 1% among Austrians and Swiss, 3% among Romanians from Pliesti, 1% among Turks. Topic. Possible migration route They may have emerged from the modern Indian state of Rajasthan, migrating to the northwest, the Punjab region, Sindh and Balakistan of the Indian subcontinent around 250 BC. Their subsequent westward migration, possibly in waves, is now believed to have occurred beginning in about AD 500. It has also been suggested that emigration from India may have taken place in the context of the raids by Mahmud of Ghazni. As these soldiers were defeated, they were moved west with their families into the Byzantine Empire. The author Ralph Lilly Turner theorized a central Indian origin of Romani followed by a migration to northwest India as it shares a number of ancient isoglosses with central Indo-Aryan languages in relation to realization of some sounds of old Indo-Aryan. This has lent further credence by its sharing exactly the same pattern of northwestern languages such as Kashmiri and Sheena through the adoption of oblique enclitic pronouns as person markers. The overall morphology suggests that Romani participated in some of the significant developments leading toward the emergence of new Indo-Aryan languages, thus indicating that the Proto-Romani did not leave the Indian subcontinent until late in the second half of the first millennium. Topic. History Topic. Arrival in Europe Though according to a 2012 genomic study, the Romani reached the Balkans as early as the 12th century, the first historical records of the Romani reaching southeastern Europe are from the 14th century. In 1322, after leaving Ireland on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, Irish Franciscan friar Simon Semionis encountered a migrant group of Romani outside the town of Candia, modern Heraclean, in Crete, calling them the descendants of Cain. His account is the earliest surviving description by a Western chronicler of the Romani in Europe. 
In 1350, Ludolf of Saxony mentioned a similar people with a unique language whom he called Mandipolos, a word some think derives from the Greek word mans, meaning prophet or fortune teller. Around 1360, a fiefdom called the Feudomassingenorum was established in Corfu, which mainly used Romani serfs and to which the Romani on the island were subservient. By the 1440s, they were recorded in Germany, and by the 16th century, Scotland and Sweden. Some Romani migrated from Persia through North Africa, reaching the Iberian Peninsula in the 15th century. The two currents met in France. <laughs> Early modern history Their early history shows a mixed reception. Although 1385 marks the first recorded transaction for a Romani slave in Wallachia, they were issued safe conduct by Holy Roman Emperor Sigismund in 1417. Romanis were ordered expelled from the Meissen region of Germany in 1416, Lucerne in 1471, Milan in 1493, France in 1504, Catalonia in 1512, Sweden in 1525, England in 1530 see Egyptians Act 1530, and Denmark in 1536. In 1510, any Romani found in Switzerland were ordered put to death, with similar rules established in England in 1554, and Denmark in 1589, whereas Portugal began deportations of Romanis to its colonies in 1538. A 1596 English statute gave Romanis special privileges that other wanderers lacked. France passed a similar law in 1683. Catherine the Great of Russia declared the Romanis crown slaves, a status superior to serfs, but also kept them out of certain parts of the capital. In 1595, Stefan Razvan overcame his birth into slavery and became the voivode, prince of Moldavia. Since a royal edict by Charles II in 1695, Spanish gypsies had been restricted to certain towns. An official edict in 1717 restricted them to only 75 towns and districts, so that they would not be concentrated in any one region. In the Great Gypsy Roundup, Romani were arrested and imprisoned by the Spanish monarchy in 1749. During the latter part of the 17th century around the time of the Franco-Dutch War both France and Holland needed thousands of men to fight. Some recruitment took the form of rounding up vagrants and the poor to work the galleys and provide labor force for the armies. With this background, gypsies were targets by both the French and the Dutch. After the wars, and into the first decade of the 18th century, gypsies were slaughtered with impunity throughout Holland. Gypsies, called Haydn by the Dutch, wandered throughout the rural areas of Europe and became the societal pariahs of the age. Gypsy hunt or Haydn Jackton, translated as heathen hunt, happened throughout Holland in an attempt to eradicate them. Although some Romani could be kept as slaves in Wallachia and Moldavia until abolition in 1856, the majority travelled as free nomads with their wagons, as alluded to in the spokewheel symbol in the Romani flag. Elsewhere in Europe, they were subject to ethnic cleansing, abduction of their children, and forced labour. In England, Romani was sometimes expelled from small communities or hanged, in France, they were branded and their heads were shaved, in Moravia and Bohemia, the women were marked by their ears being severed. As a result, large groups of the Romani moved to the east, toward Poland, which was more tolerant, and Russia, where the Romani were treated more fairly as long as they paid the annual taxes. Modern history Romani began emigrating to North America in colonial times, with small groups recorded in Virginia and French Louisiana. 
Larger scale Roma emigration to the United States began in the 1860s, with groups of Romanichal from Great Britain. The largest number immigrated in the early 1900s, mainly from the VLAX group of Calderash. Many Romani also settled in South America. <inaudible> World War II During World War II, the Nazis embarked on a systematic genocide of the Romani, a process known in Romani as the Porajmos. Romanis were marked for extermination and sentenced to forced labor and imprisonment in concentration camps. They were often killed on sight, especially by the Einsatzgruppen paramilitary death squads on the Eastern Front. The total number of victims has been variously estimated at between 220,000 and 1,500,000. Even the lower figure would make the Porajmos one of the largest mass killings in history. The treatment of Romani in Nazi partner states differed markedly. In the independent state of Croatia, the separatist Ustasa organization killed around 25,000 Roma, almost the entire Roma population. The concentration camp system of Jasnovac, run by the Ustasa militia and the Croat political police, were responsible for the deaths of between 15,000 and 20,000 Roma. Topic: <laughs> Post 1945. In Czechoslovakia, they were labeled a socially degraded stratum and Romani women were sterilized as part of a state policy to reduce their population. This policy was implemented with large financial incentives, threats of denying future welfare payments, with misinformation, or after administering drugs, an official inquiry from the Czech Republic, resulting in a report December 2005, concluded that the communist authorities had practiced an assimilation policy towards Romanis, which included efforts by social services to control the birth rate in the Romani community. The problem of sexual sterilization carried out in the Czech Republic, either with improper motivation or illegally, exists," said the Czech Public Defender of Rights, recommending state compensation for women affected between 1973 and 1991. New cases were revealed up until 2004, in both the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Germany, Norway, Sweden and Switzerland, "...all have histories of coercive sterilization of minorities and other groups." <laughs> <laughs> Society and traditional culture The traditional Romanis place a high value on the extended family. Virginity is essential in unmarried women. Both men and women often marry young. There has been controversy in several countries over the Romani practice of child marriage. Romani law establishes that the man's family must pay a bride price to the bride's parents, but only traditional families still follow this rule. Once married, the woman joins the husband's family, where her main job is to tend to her husband's and her children's needs, as well as to take care of her in-laws. The power structure in the traditional Romani household has at its top the oldest man or grandfather, and men in general have more authority than women. Women gain respect and authority as they get older. Young wives begin gaining authority once they have children. Romani social behavior is strictly regulated by Hindu purity laws. Marim or Mahim, still respected by most Roma and by most older generations of Sinti. This regulation affects many aspects of life, and is applied to actions, people and things. Parts of the human body are considered impure, the genital organs, because they produce emissions, as well as the rest of the lower body. Clothes for the lower body, as well as the clothes of menstruating women, are washed separately. 
Items used for eating are also washed in a different place. Childbirth is considered impure, and must occur outside the dwelling place. The mother is considered impure for 40 days after giving birth. Death is considered impure, and affects the whole family of the dead, who remain impure for a period of time. In contrast to the practice of cremating the dead, Romani dead must be buried. Cremation and burial are both known from the time of the Rigveda, and both are widely practiced in Hinduism today although the tendency is for Hindus to practice cremation, while some communities in South India tend to bury their dead. Some animals are also considered impure, for instance cats because they lick their hindquarters. Horses, in contrast, are not considered impure because they cannot do so. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Belonging and exclusion. In Romani philosophy, Romanipen also Romanipen, Romanipe, Romanipe, Romanimos, Romimos, Romania is the totality of the Romani spirit, Romani culture, Romani law, being a Romani, a set of Romani strains. An ethnic Romani is considered a gajo in the Romani society if he has no Romanipen. Sometimes a non-Romani may be considered a Romani if he has Romani pen. Usually this is an adopted child. It has been hypothesized that it owes more to a framework of culture rather than simply an adherence to historically received rules. Religion Most Romani people are Christian, others Muslim, some retained their ancient faith of Hinduism from their original homeland of India, while others have their own religion and political organization. Beliefs <inaudible> 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 The ancestors of modern-day Romani people were Hindu, but adopted Christianity or Islam depending on the regions through which they had migrated. Muslim Roma are found in Turkey, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania, Egypt, Kosovo, North Macedonia, and Bulgaria, forming a very significant proportion of the Romani people. In neighboring countries such as Serbia and Greece, most Romani inhabitants follow the practice of orthodoxy. It is likely that the adherence to differing religions prevented families from engaging in intermarriage. In Spain, most Gitanos are Roman Catholics. Some brotherhoods have organized Gitanos in their Holy Week devotions. They are popularly known as Cofradía de los Gitanos. However, the proportion of followers of evangelical Christianity among Gitanos is higher than among the rest of Spaniards. Their version of El Culto integrates flamenco music. <laughs> <laughs> Deities and saints Blessed Keferino Jimenez Mala is recently considered a patron saint of the Romani people in Roman Catholicism. Saint Sarah, or Sara e Kali, has also been venerated as a patron saint in her shrine at Saint Maurice de la Mer, France. Since the turn of the 21st century, Sara e Kali is understood to have been Kali, an Indian deity brought from India by the refugee ancestors of the Roma people. As the Roma became Christianized, she was absorbed in a syncretic way and worshipped as a saint. Saint Sarah is now increasingly being considered as a Romani goddess, the protectress of the Roma, and an indisputable link with Mother India. Ceremonies and practices 
Romanese often adopt the dominant religion of their host country in the event that a ceremony associated with a formal religious institution is necessary, such as a baptism or funeral their particular belief systems and indigenous religion and worship remain preserved regardless of such adoption processes. The Roma continue to practice shaktism a practice with origins in India, whereby a female consort is required for the worship of a god. Adherence to this practice means that for the Roma who worship the Christian god, prayer is conducted through the Virgin Mary, or her mother, Saint Anne. Shaktism continues over 1,000 years after the people's separation from India. Besides the Roma elders, who serve as spiritual leaders, priests, churches, or Bibles do not exist among the Romanese, the only exception is the Pentecostal Roma. Balkans For the Roma communities that have resided in the Balkans for numerous centuries, often referred to as «Turkish Gypsies», the following histories apply for religious beliefs. Albania – The majority of Albania's Roma people are Muslims. Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro – Islam is the dominant religion among the Roma. Bulgaria, in northwestern Bulgaria, in addition to Sofia and Kyustendal, Christianity is the dominant faith among Romani people a major conversion to Eastern Orthodox Christianity among Romani people has occurred. In southeastern Bulgaria, Islam is the dominant religion among Romani people, with a smaller section of the Romani population, declaring themselves as Turks continuing to mix ethnicity with Islam. Croatia, following the Second World War, a large number of Muslim Roma relocated to Croatia, the majority moving from Kosovo. Greece, the descendants of groups, such as Sepicides or Seviljara, Kalpazaha, Philippidzi and others, living in Athens, Thessaloniki, Central Greece and Greek Macedonia are mostly Orthodox Christians, with Islamic beliefs held by a minority of the population. Following the Peace Treaty of Lausanne of 1923, many Muslim Roma moved to Turkey in the subsequent population exchange between Turkey and Greece. Kosovo – The vast majority of the Roma population in Kosovo is Muslim. North Macedonia – The majority of Roma people are followers of Islam. Romania – According to the 2002 census, the majority of Romani minority living in Romania are Orthodox Christians, while 6.4% are Pentecostals, 3.8% Roman Catholics, 3% Reformed, 1.1% Greek Catholics, 0.9% Baptists, 0.8% Seventh-day Adventists. In Dobruja, there is a small community that are Muslim and also speak Turkish. Serbia – Most Roma people in Serbia are Orthodox Christian, but there are some Muslim Roma in southern Serbia, who are mainly refugees from Kosovo. Other regions in Ukraine and Russia the Roma populations are also Muslim as the families of Balkan migrants continue to live in these locations. Their ancestors settled on the Crimean Peninsula during the 17th and 18th centuries, but then migrated to Ukraine, southern Russia and the Povolzhi along the Volga River. Formally, Islam is the religion that these communities align themselves with and the people are recognized for their staunch preservation of the Romani language and identity. In Poland and Slovakia, their populations are Roman Catholic, many times adopting and following local, cultural Catholicism as a syncretic system of belief that incorporates distinct Roma beliefs and cultural aspects. 
For example, many Polish Roma delay their church wedding due to the belief that sacramental marriage is accompanied by divine ratification, creating a virtually indissoluble union until the couple consummate, after which the sacramental marriage is dissoluble only by the death of a spouse. Therefore, for Polish Roma once married one can't ever divorce. Another aspect of Polish Roma's Catholicism is a tradition of pilgrimage to the Jasna Gora Monastery. Most Eastern European Romanis are Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, or Muslim. Those in Western Europe and the United States are mostly Roman Catholic or Protestant. In southern Spain, many Romanis are Pentecostal, but this is a small minority that has emerged in contemporary times. In Egypt, the Romanis are split into Christian and Muslim populations. Topic: <inaudible> Music. <inaudible> Romani music plays an important role in Central and Eastern European countries such as Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, North Macedonia, Albania, Hungary, Slovakia, Slovenia and Romania, and the style and performance practices of Romani musicians have influenced European classical composers such as Franz Liszt and Johannes Brahms. The Lautari who perform at traditional Romanian weddings are virtually all Romani. Probably the most internationally prominent contemporary performers in the Lautari tradition are Tariful Haidusala. Bulgaria's popular, wedding music, too, is almost exclusively performed by Romani musicians such as Ivo Papasov, a virtuoso clarinetist closely associated with this genre and Bulgarian pop folk singer Azis. Many famous classical musicians, such as the Hungarian pianist George Zifra, are Romani, as are many prominent performers of Manal. ZDOBCZ Dub, one of the most prominent rock bands in Moldova, although not Romanis themselves, draw heavily on Romani music, as does Spital de Urgenta in Romania, Chantel in Germany, Goran Bregovic in Serbia, Darko Rundic in Croatia, Beirut and Gogol Bordello in the United States. Another tradition of Romani music is the genre of the Romani brass band, with such notable practitioners as Boban Markovic of Serbia, and the brass Lautari groups Fanfare Siokalia and Fanfare Din Kozmesti of Romania. Many musical instruments like violins and guitars are said to have originated from the Romani. Many dances such as the flamenco of Spain and oriental dances of Egypt are also said to have originated from them. The distinctive sound of Romani music has also strongly influenced bolero, jazz, and flamenco, especially cante jondo in Spain. European style gypsy jazz, jazz manouche, or sinti jazz is still widely practiced among the original creators the Romani people one who acknowledged this artistic debt was guitarist Django Reinhardt Contemporary artists in this tradition known internationally include Stockolo Rosenberg, Borelli Legrine, Jimmy Rosenberg, Paulus Schaefer and Cevolo Schmidt The Romanis of Turkey have achieved musical acclaim from national and local audiences Local performers usually perform for special holidays. Their music is usually performed on instruments such as the darbuka, gurnata and kumbas. Topic: <laughs> Contemporary art and culture. Romani contemporary art is art created by Romani people. It emerged at the climax of the process that began in Central and Eastern Europe in the late 1980s, when the interpretation of the cultural practice of minorities was enabled by a paradigm shift, commonly referred to in specialist literature as the cultural turn. The idea of the cultural turn was introduced, and this was also the time when the notion of cultural democracy became crystallized in the debates carried on at various public forums. 
civil society gained strength, and civil politics appeared, which is a prerequisite for cultural democracy. This shift of attitude in scholarly circles derived from concerns specific not only to ethnicity, but also to society, gender and class. Language Most Romani speak one of several dialects of the Romani language, an Indo-Aryan language, with roots in Sanskrit. They also often speak the languages of the countries they live in. Typically, they also incorporate loanwords and calques into Romani from the languages of those countries and especially words for terms that the Romani language does not have. Most of the Ciganos of Portugal, the Gitanos of Spain, the Romanichal of the UK, and Scandinavian travellers have lost their knowledge of pure Romani, and respectively speak the mixed languages Calo, Angloromani, and Scandoromani. Most of the speaker communities in these regions consist of later immigrants from Eastern or Central Europe. There are no concrete statistics for the number of Romani speakers, both in Europe and globally. However, a conservative estimation has been made at 3.5 million speakers in Europe and a further 500,000 elsewhere, although the actual number may be considerably higher. This makes Romani the second largest minority language in Europe, behind Catalan. In relation to dialect diversity, Romani works in the same way as most other European languages. Cross dialect communication is dominated by the following features. All Romani speakers are bilingual, and are accustomed to borrowing words or phrases from a second language this makes it difficult when trying to communicate with Romanese from different countries. Romani was traditionally a language shared between extended family and a close-knit community. This has resulted in the inability to comprehend dialects from other countries. This is the reason Romani is sometimes considered to be a number of different languages. There is no tradition or literary standard for Romani speakers to use as a guideline for their language use. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Persecutions. Topic: <inaudible> Historical persecution One of the most enduring persecutions against the Romani people was their enslavement. Slavery was widely practiced in medieval Europe, including the territory of present-day Romania from before the founding of the principalities of Moldavia and Wallachia in the 13th–14th century. Legislation decreed that all the Romani living in these states, as well as any others who immigrated there, were classified as slaves. Slavery was gradually abolished during the 1840s and 1850s. The exact origins of slavery in the Danubian principalities are not known. There is some debate over whether the Romani people came to Wallachia and Moldavia as free men or were brought as slaves. Historian Nicolae Iorga associated the Roma people's arrival with the 1241 Mongol invasion of Europe and considered their slavery as a vestige of that era, in which the Romanians took the Roma as slaves from the Mongols and preserved their status to use their labor. Other historians believe that the Romani were enslaved while captured during the battles with the Tatars. The practice of enslaving war prisoners may also have been adopted from the Mongols. Some Romani may have been slaves or auxiliary troops of the Mongols or Tatars, but most of them migrated from south of the Danube at the end of the 14th century, some time after the foundation of Wallachia. By then, the institution of slavery was already established in Moldavia and possibly in both principalities. After the Roma migrated into the area, slavery became a widespread practice by the majority population. 
The Tatar slaves, smaller in numbers, were eventually merged into the Roma population. Some branches of the Romani people reached Western Europe in the 15th century, fleeing as refugees from the Ottoman conquest of the Balkans. Although the Romani were refugees from the conflicts in southeastern Europe, they were often suspected by certain populations in the West of being associated with the Ottoman invasion because their physical appearance seemed Turkish. The Imperial Diet at Landau and Freiburg in 1496–1498 declared that the Romani were spies of the Turks. In Western Europe, such suspicions and discrimination against a people who were a visible minority resulted in persecution, often violent, with efforts to achieve ethnic cleansing until the modern era. In times of social tension, the Romani suffered as scapegoats, for instance, they were accused of bringing the plague during times of epidemics. On 30 July 1749, Spain conducted the Great Roundup of Romani Gitanos in its territory. The Spanish Crown ordered a nationwide raid that led to the breakup of families as all able bodied men were interned into forced labor camps in an attempt at ethnic cleansing. The measure was eventually reversed and the gypsies were freed as protests began to arise in different communities, sedentary gypsies being highly esteemed and protected in rural Spain. Later in the 19th century, Romani immigration was forbidden on a racial basis in areas outside Europe, mostly in the English speaking world. Argentina in 1880 prohibited immigration by Roma, as did the United States in 1885. Forced assimilation In the Habsburg monarchy under Maria Theresa (1740–1780), a series of decrees tried to force the Romanis to permanently settle, removed rights to horse and wagon ownership (1754), renamed them as "new citizens," and forced Romani boys into military service if they had no trade (1761), forced them to register with the local authorities (1767) and prohibited marriage between Romanis 1773. Her successor Joseph II prohibited the wearing of traditional Romani clothing and the use of the Romani language, punishable by flogging. In Spain, attempts to assimilate the Gitanos were underway as early as 1619, when Gitanos were forcibly settled, the use of the Romani language was prohibited, Gitano men and women were sent to separate workhouses and their children sent to orphanages. King Charles III took on a more progressive attitude to Gitano assimilation, proclaiming their equal rights as Spanish citizens and ending official denigration based on their race. While he prohibited the nomadic lifestyle, the use of the Calo language, Romani clothing, their trade in horses and other itinerant trades, he also forbade any form of discrimination against them or barring them from the guilds. The use of the word Gitano was also forbidden to further assimilation, substituted for New Castilian, which was also applied to former Jews and Muslims. Most historians agree that Charles III Pragmatica failed for three main reasons, ultimately, derived from its implementation outside major cities and in marginal areas, the difficulty the Gitano community faced in changing its nomadic lifestyle, the marginal lifestyle in which the community had been driven by society, and the serious difficulties of applying the Pragmatica in the fields of education and work. Work. One author ascribes its failure to the overall rejection by the wider population of the integration of the Gitanos. Other examples of forced assimilation include Norway, where a law was passed in 1896 permitting the state to remove children from their parents and place them in state institutions. This resulted in some 1,500 Romani children being taken from their parents in the 20th century. Holocaust 
The persecution of the Romanese reached a peak during World War II in the Porashmas, the genocide perpetrated by the Nazis during the Holocaust. In 1935, the Nuremberg Laws stripped the Romani people living in Nazi Germany of their citizenship, after which they were subjected to violence, imprisonment in concentration camps and later genocide in extermination camps. The policy was extended in areas occupied by the Nazis during the war, and it was also applied by their allies, notably the independent state of Croatia, Romania and Hungary. Because no accurate pre-war census figures exist for the Romanis, it is impossible to accurately assess the actual number of victims. Most estimates for numbers of Romani victims of the Holocaust fall between 200,000 and 500,000, although figures ranging between 90,000 and 1.5 million have been proposed. Lower estimates do not include those killed in all Axis-controlled countries. A detailed study by Sybil Milton, formerly senior historian at the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum gave a figure of at least a minimum of 220,000, possibly closer to 500,000. Ian Hancock, director of the Program of Romani Studies in the Romani Archives and Documentation Center at the University of Texas at Austin, argues in favor of a higher figure of between 500,000 and 1,500,000. In Central Europe, the extermination in the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia was so thorough that the Bohemian Romani language became extinct. Topic. Contemporary issues In Europe, Romani people are associated with poverty, and are accused of high rates of crime and behaviors that are perceived by the rest of the population as being anti-social or inappropriate. Partly for this reason, discrimination against the Romani people has continued to the present day, although efforts are being made to address them. Amnesty International reports continued instances of anti-Zigan discrimination during the 20th century, particularly in Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia, and Kosovo. The European Union has recognized that discrimination against Romani must be addressed, and with the National Roma Integration Strategy they encourage member states to work towards greater Romani inclusion and upholding the rights of the Romani in the European Union. The Romanis of Kosovo have been severely persecuted by ethnic Albanians since the end of the Kosovo War, and the region's Romani community is, for the most part, annihilated. Czechoslovakia carried out a policy of sterilization of Romani women, starting in 1973. The dissidents of the Charter 77 denounced it in 1977–78 as a genocide, but the practice continued through the Velvet Revolution of 1989. A 2005 report by the Czech Republic's independent ombudsman, Otaka Motijal, identified dozens of cases of coercive sterilization between 1979 and 2001 and called for criminal investigations and possible prosecution against several health care workers and administrators. In 2008, following the brutal rape and subsequent murder of an Italian woman in Rome at the hands of a young man from a local Romani encampment, the Italian government declared that Italy's Romani population represented a national security risk and that swift action was required to address the emergenza nomadi nomad emergency. Specifically, officials in the Italian government accused the Romanis of being responsible for rising crime rates in urban areas. The 2008 deaths of Cristina and Violetta Georgievich, two Roma children who drowned while Italian beach-goers remained unperturbed, brought international attention to the relationship between Italians and the Roma people. Reviewing the situation in 2012, one Belgian magazine observed, on International Roma Day, which falls on 8 April, the significant proportion of Europe's 12 million Roma who live in deplorable conditions will not have much to celebrate. 
And poverty is not the only worry for the community. Ethnic tensions are on the rise. In 2008, Roma camps came under attack in Italy. Intimidation by racist parliamentarians is the norm in Hungary. Speaking in 1993, Vaclav Havel prophetically remarked that, The treatment of the Roma is a litmus test for democracy, and democracy has been found wanting. The consequences of the transition to capitalism have been disastrous for the Roma. Under communism they had jobs, free housing and schooling. Now many are unemployed, many are losing their homes and racism is increasingly rewarded with impunity. The 2016 Pew Research poll found that Italians, in particular, hold strong anti-Roma views, with 82% of Italians expressing negative opinions about Roma. In Greece 67%, in Hungary 64%, in France 61%, in Spain 49%, in Poland 47%, in the UK 45%, in Sweden 42%, in Germany 40%, and in the Netherlands 37% have an unfavourable view of Roma. Forced repatriation. In the summer of 2010 French authorities demolished at least 51 illegal Roma camps and began the process of repatriating their residents to their countries of origin. This followed tensions between the French state and Roma communities, which had been heightened after French police opened fire and killed a traveller who drove through a police checkpoint, hitting an officer, and attempted to hit two more officers at another checkpoint. In retaliation a group of Roma, armed with hatchets and iron bars, attacked the police station of St. Anan, toppled traffic lights and road signs and burned three cars. The French government has been accused of perpetrating these actions to pursue its political agenda. EU Justice Commissioner Vivian Redding stated that the European Commission should take legal action against France over the issue, calling the deportations a disgrace." A leaked file dated 5 August, sent from the Interior Ministry to regional police chiefs included the instruction, 300 camps or illegal settlements must be cleared within three months, Roma camps are a priority. <laughs> <laughs> Organizations and projects World Romani Congress European Roma Rights Center Gypsy Law Society International Romani Union Decade of Roma Inclusion, Multinational Project International Romani Day 8 April Artistic representations Many depictions of Romani people in literature and art present romanticized narratives of mystical powers of fortune-telling or irascible or passionate temper paired with an indomitable love of freedom and a habit of criminality. Romani were a popular subject in Venetian painting from the time of Giorgione at the start of the 16th century. The inclusion of such a figure adds an exotic oriental flavor to scenes. A Venetian Renaissance painting by Paris Bourdon, ca. 1530, Strasbourg, of the Holy Family in Egypt, makes Elizabeth a gypsy fortune teller. The scene is otherwise located in a distinctly European landscape. Particularly notable are classics like the story Carmen by Prosper Merimi and the opera based on it by Georges Bizet, Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Herge's The Castafiore Emerald, and Miguel de Cervantes' La Gatinilla. The Romani were also depicted in A Midsummer Night's Dream, As You Like It, Othello and the Tempest, all by William Shakespeare. The Romani were also heavily romanticized in the Soviet Union, a classic example being the 1975 Tabor Ukordit v Nebo. 
a more realistic depiction of contemporary Romani in the Balkans, featuring Romani lay actors speaking in their native dialects, although still playing with established clichés of a Romani penchant for both magic and crime, was presented by Emir Kusturica in his Time of the Gypsies and Black Cat, White Cat the films of Tony Gatler, a French director of Romani ethnicity, like Les Princes 1983, Lacho Drum 1993, and Gajo Dilo 1997, also portray gypsy life. See also Environmental racism in Europe Gitanos Gypsy Scourge King of the Gypsies R. V. Kramovsky Rajasthani people Timeline of Romani History General Itinerant groups in Europe Nomadic tribes in India Dalit lists List of Romani people List of Romani settlements equals equals notes